Hey y'all, I had someone ask me how I deal with dating after being um, previously in an abusive relationship. And the biggest thing that I've had to learn, I'll just list off things as I think of them. I don't want to give a number and then not stick to that number. Anyways, um, first thing is recognizing that I had um, unfinished work to do within myself. And something that really opened my eyes to that was the video. If you go into YouTube, you're already here. Type in I release you. And then the I release you response will come up. And it's a channel that focuses on dealing with a narcissist in your life. Like the the videos focuses, focuses on like having a conversation or interacting with the narcissist. But I think it works with all difficult people. That one is a gem and it woke my eyes up to the fact that I don't have strong boundaries and I didn't really know what my boundaries were. But um, I learned that um, anger is a response to, the emotion of anger is a response to a boundary being violated. So just really paying attention to my emotions. Another thing that I highly recommend is the book, um, my hands look weird is the book the four agreements by don miguel ruiz it's a very easy simple read um the words are big so it's really not that long of a book anyways those two things combined really helped me um understand one i didn't ha i didn't know what my boundaries were and two even if i did like there's just so many decisions to make in a day, like so many small decisions and interacting with someone and like how I'm gonna handle this. And I, I think I benefit from having structure when it comes to that and like something that I can go back in my mind to. So I'm not letting trauma responses take over and how I engage with others. And something that I like about the four main agreements is the fourth one is to do your best. So um, even if you struggle, with getting the first three you know implemented into your life just understanding like as long as you're doing your best and you know that that's all you can really ask of yourself and your best is going to look different every single day but yeah that those two things have really helped me but another thing that has really helped me is just understanding that i don't need to be in a relationship to feel fulfilled, which is a sentiment that I heard a lot, but I don't know if I ever truly felt that. And I have to be honest, having my daughter really helped me with that because people talk about like being a woman and like ticking time bombs and stuff like that. Of like, you won't be able to have kids. I love my daughter and also just like, I have my daughter, you know what I mean? Like I would love to have more kids in the future, but if I don't, I. Josie's more than enough. I love her so much. And yeah, having her really changed my perspective and mindset because I, I look at things through the lens of like, what am I teaching her through my behaviors and how I live my life? And is this something that I would want for her? Is this something that I would want for her to believe about herself? And that has been a strong motivating factor, not to say you have to have kids, to reach this point but that's what helped me and also really understanding that people don't change much like who they are at the core they can but they have to really want to and make that decision for themselves it, it's not influenced by other people it just isn't um so I think I read this somewhere or someone told this to me is like when making a decision if you want to be with someone look at them the person who sits in front of you right now as they are can you be with them and share your life with this person exactly how they are without them changing and if the answer is no then maybe that's not the person for you but if you're thinking yeah only yeah but I would like it if you know this small thing changed and it's like a personality thing 
or like I would like these habitual things, the behavior that they do habitually in a pattern to change, then that's not the person for you. But if it's something small, like, I don't know, like a pet peeve, I'm trying to think of a small thing, like the old, you didn't put the toothpaste cap back on or you squeeze the toothpaste. Like if it's something you can live with, then, you know, you hear what I'm saying. But if it's like a major thing that you're like, I really can't stand this, I just want them to fix this and we'll be happy, then it's probably not a good match. Um, and then, I think that's really it. But outside of all of those things, um, having trust in my heart that there is just, you know, I, I would always go back to like, there's that special person out there for me somewhere, but there's more to life than being on the hunt for this person. Like live your life and then you'll, that connection, that uh, meeting will happen on its own. You know, that, that has been my main focus, like learning about what it is that I love. Like I joined or I'm gonna go to a book club next week. I haven't read the book yet, but I will. I looked it up and it said it takes six to eight hours to read it, so I have time. Anyway, so joining a book club, joining a gym, going, you know, whenever I, I joined this gym before and I went to their workout classes, I always felt great. So going back to the things that like fill me with joy um, another trauma healing things is I'm in therapy again and the book the courage to heal was recommended to me as a workbook and I'm gonna start working through that and then like little things like I want to find someone to go bird watching with like even if it's like friends or like a bird watching club like finding clubs that of people that share my interests and it's not in hopes of finding a romantic partner but it's just to find people or individuals that share my passions. Because I think, bird, not that bird is a passion quite yet, but I think it could be one. It just sounds cool and fun. But also just being okay with doing those things by myself. Yeah. So these are all collectively things. Oh, and I, you know, trying to kid myself, like I don't care how I look. But I think it's because of the things that I've been through. I, I felt like um, caring about my parents, it just either attracted negative attention or um, it was just like a negative thing to do. But I feel better when I look how I want to. And I like this hairstyle. I got it done yesterday. And I'm gonna, I, I ordered like an eyebrow pencil and an eyeliner and I have to get lip colors. I got my nose pierced. It's small. Is this small or do I just have a giant nose? I have to wait to get it a hoopy to make it a hoop. Hoop. Anyways, um, that's what I have to say. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always,